Hey everybody, Barry here again. Well, I had to go and put shorts on because it's like 25 degrees and rain. So everything is soaked. The van's there with no hood on it. Turbo's out in the open, the exhausts are sticking straight up. So it's probably full of water now. I'm gonna get that run in a little bit. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can finish up this uh, cam swap. I checked all the data and this mark here is in line with the dot on the timing cover here, the rocker cover. Number one cylinder is at top dead center. And I'll go ahead and check the paperwork again. Apparently there's a notch on the crank pulley that's supposed to line up with the block. I'll double check that to make sure I'm not a tooth off or whatever. And uh, then I can continue on. I went ahead last night and hooked up the timing gear and stuff. Now the head isn't bolted down fully. I got it tightened down. All the bolts are down flush, put a little bit of a turn on them. And then went ahead and did the timing because I didn't have my uh, torque wrench and I didn't have the torque specs here. I forgot them at the shop and I wanted to get some more stuff done. I'm gonna go ahead now and torque that down. And also, here we go. This is the stuff I was talking about. This is Moto Seal Permatex part number 38401. This stuff is resistant to automotive fuels. Meaning it'll be perfect for intake manifold gaskets, especially near the injectors because pressure pulses in the intake is always gonna have a little bit of gas floating around in the intake and you know, between cylinder strokes and stuff like that. So I don't wanna use like black car TV where it's gonna gum up and deteriorate in no time. So let's, uh get all this hair bolted down make sure the timing kit is all good i might have to center that up a little bit more because it is off a little bit or it's out flush but i like for it to be centered and i got some new wires i still don't know where i put that plug it's probably down here somewhere oh here it is the uh, piece of the wire came off and stayed on top of the plug so i'll change those out plugs look Okay, this will not focus today. Focus, there we go. Yeah, that plug doesn't look too bad. Well, I think it's time. I double, triple, quadruple checked everything. I'm gonna turn off that water down. And I think it's ready to fire up. Everything is all hooked up. Uh, I didn't undo the fuel lines or anything. So it should be pretty much instantaneous if it's gonna fire. I double checked my timing marks. The crank mark is dead on. The cam mark is dead on. And it's not a hydraulic or oil pressure um, tensioner 
on the timing system. It's just a spring cam thing. So it's not even like the oil pressure is going to build up and the timing will be off. It's, it's basically static. Uh, I'm going to go put this on a tripod and see if it's going to fire. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Just fire up. Any guesses on how this is going to sound? Because I think it's going to be like... But not like big block. But like four cylinder. Just the same thing. And it's only got this much exhaust on it. So I imagine it's not going to be very quiet. Put your guesses in now. Oh, this car is so hard to get into. That is phenomenal. Oh man, that's wicked. Well, I gotta turn the car around, so I grabbed a pillow because the seat's way too low and I'm short. Um, let's go. Fixed. I'm gonna turn this thing around so I can take the front control arms off of it. I got to get it up in temperature, make sure the coolant's all bled and stuff. And so I'm going to finish this one up here because next video, I've got to do something else with this thing. Uh, this side or passenger side? Passenger side has to have four and a half degrees of negative camber in it. Right now it's actually at zero degrees. I used, I know it sounds dumb, but I used um, a, uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, I use the level app on the iPhone. <laughs> That's like the best thing that I have. I don't have camber laser gauge things. I just put, I lined up the wheel studs completely straight, laid the phone up against it and it said zero degrees. So that's like, that's all I got. So 
I'm gonna make some plates up for the bottom of it. The ball joint actually bolts to the control arm with three bolts. So I think if I can make a plate that's about an inch or two long, maybe quarter inch thick, so there's no chance of it breaking, then I can make a couple elongated holes or say three elongated holes. That way, if Josh finds there's too much camber in it, he can bring it back in a little bit, tighten the bolts up again. If there's not enough camber, he can put five and a half degrees in it if he wants to. So that's gonna be on the next video. I think that one's gonna be kind of neat. Uh, I don't do much work for other people. I don't like working on junk. I don't like working. I don't want to put a ball joint in a shave truck. It's just, I'm not into it. So, you know, working on my buddy's race car, helping him out. Absolutely. Plus he's paying me to do it. So it helps with the channel. I can, you know, buy more go fast parts for that or build another engine after I blow it up again, that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad this went really successfully and that's another one checked off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good night.